So I'm going to start by taking you back to one of the worst winters in Copenhagen, something we have quite a bit of, unfortunately. It was in the beginning years of Noma, and we were in trouble because back then we didn't know what we know today about how to stock up during the growing months. Today we have thousands of kilos of food that we're already putting in, in our larder for the cold winter. But back then we didn't, and we had, I believe, 48 days of straight frost, day and night. Some days minus 30 at night, some days minus 10. Nothing grows, literally everything stands still. And there we were with our promise to cook the best the seasons have to offer, to distill a moment in time onto a plate. So in the midst of this gloom, I had called up one of my chefs or one of my uh, friends, a farmer called Sean Viof, and I told him, bring everything you have. And he brought a pile of carrots. And they were old carrots. He told me beforehand, these carrots are old, and I've had them in my storage room for a long time. And I was looking at them, and they were old and gnarly, and I could actually bend them into a circle. <laughs> but when you're there, and guests are coming at night, you think to yourself, okay, so here's a carrot. We're put off by all how old it is, but that's because we're told or learned that fresh is best. What actually happens to a carrot when it's a year or two old? The chef gave it to me because he liked the flavor. There was something in it that he liked. You weren't just going to peel it. I have three daughters. I weren't just going to peel it and give it to my daughters to eat. Then they wouldn't like it. But what can come out of this vegetable if I change my mindset? So that's what I tried doing. I told myself, this isn't a root vegetable. This isn't a root vegetable. I tried to convince myself a few times. I said, value it as a slab of meat, a very expensive cote de boeuf that you paid 50 pounds for. And of course, that changed everything for how you cooked it. Suddenly, it wasn't just gemüse. It was a valued, precious thing that I had to get something out of because I don't want to throw money away. So I cooked it. And I twist, and I turned, and I cooked it, and I added butter, and I twist, and I turned, and I cooked it like the best chef would do, would do a premium cut from a good restaurant. And after an hour or so, maybe an hour, 30 minutes, this, this carrot transformed. The skin was now crunchy, but also leathery and fruity, like a blueberry. The flesh inside had condensed and reached a point of tenderness and pulpiness that I'd never seen before. It was fragrant, and it had an intensity and lushness to it that I'd never, ever seen in a carrot. It was meaty. So that carrot not only changed our perspective on edibility as it did deliciousness. How many of us would have just overlooked it or simply thrown it in the bin? 